In automotive application software, non-volatile vehicle data has to be stored and retrieved from memory, as and when it requires. As per AutoSAR architecture, NVRAM Manager uses different block management types to manage application data efficiently. These block management types are determined by the number of basic storage objects that can possibly be configured for a specific memory block. NVRAM Manager supports three block management types. They are native blocks, redundant blocks and dataset blocks. Check our part 1 tutorial to know more about basic storage objects. Now let us try to understand the block management types in detail. The simplest block management type is native block. It allows the storing and retrieval of non-volatile data from non-volatile memory with minimum overhead. When we configure a memory block with block management type as native, then it must have one NV block, one RAM block, one administration block and an optional ROM block. As an example, we will try to understand the NVM configuration requirement for calculating the average speed of a vehicle. Note that this is just a requirement for explanation purposes. Every time when the vehicle gets started, the current average speed shall be taken as an input for the calculation of subsequent values. When a vehicle is stopped, the newly calculated average speed must be stored permanently in non-volatile memory for the next start of the vehicle. In order to satisfy this requirement, there must be one RAM block to store the average distance value temporarily during the runtime. Then one NV block to save the average calculated value permanently in non-volatile memory for the next start of the vehicle. One administrative block to manage the status of the block. Here one ROM block can also be configured, which initializes the initial value of average speed to zero. When the application calculates the average speed for the very first time, it reads the value from ROM block and initializes the average value to zero. Then the application calculates the average value during the vehicle run time and frequently updates it in the RAM block. Finally, when the vehicle is stopped, the average speed from the RAM block is stored in NV block and during shutdown NV block data is stored in memory for the next calculation. Next time when the vehicle starts, the application reads data from NV block to RAM block instead of reading from ROM block and this continues until the user resets the average value to zero again. The second block management type is the redundant block type. It is used to reduce data corruption. It also provides enhanced fault tolerance, reliability and availability of non-volatile data. This is achieved by storing data in two identical memory blocks. If a data corruption is detected in one block, the contents of the redundant block are used and the application will run without any issues. Safety-relevant data like immobilization data can be saved in redundant blocks. Below given the minimum requirement for a native block management type, it must have two NV block, one RAM block, one administration block and an optional ROM block. As an example, let us take the same example of NVM configuration requirement for calculating the average speed, where the memory in which the last stored average is corrupted. In this case, as data correction or memory fault occurred while reading the data from the main NV block, the NVRAM manager reads the last, average speed of a vehicle, from the redundant block to NVRAM block. Then the application calculates the average value during the vehicle run time and frequently updates it in the RAM block. Finally, when the vehicle stops, the average speed from the RAM block is stored in both main NV block and redundant block and during shutdown both NV blocks data is stored in memory for the next calculation. Third type of block management is dataset block. Dataset block is an array of equally sized data blocks that has a configurable number of NV blocks and ROM blocks. These blocks can be configured to include default values, however at any time only one data set block can access by application. It is also possible to select the required dataset block during runtime. The requirement to use the same ECU, within different variants of the same cars in different geographical locations, with different sets of features can be satisfied using this dataset block. Depending on the car variant or country, the corresponding pre-configured dataset block can be selected to enable the required feature. Each data block in dataset block can be configured with required feature and based on the selection of data block, these features shall be available. Basic requirements of a dataset block is given below. 
When we configure a memory block with block management type as, dataset block, then it must have one NV block, one RAM block, one administration block and an optional ROM block. Maximum number of configurable NV block and ROM block can also be defined while configuring dataset block with a parameter NVM NV block number. Another simple example would be a radio system in a vehicle. These are the different block management types, through which NV Manager manages the non-volatile vehicle datas. Comment us and let us know your feedback about these video tutorials. Subscribe to our channel and feel free to share with others if you learn anything from this. Thanks for watching.